<laughs> hey guys, good morning. It's me, Desiree Marie, and it's Saturday. It's early, judging by my eyes. <laughs> it is about 7 a.m. in the morning, and um, I was in bed for like a good hour just contemplating, should I get up, should I not? Ooh, so hard. So guys, I got a little nail from Amazon Prime and this is an item that I received from a company named Amir and this is a colorful ultrasonic humidifier oil diffuser um, and this is pretty much the shape of it. It's an aroma diffuser, there's an auto off button so it automatically turns off. You get the intermittent mode, mute function, and aromatic. Aromatic. It keeps your living space humid, helps prevent blues, cold, and con congestion. It can also prevent dry and cracked skin. Very interesting. So this is the item. It's pretty huge. Um, here you have the light and the mist uh, switch so you can alternate between the two according to your preference. Um, this does include a, an adapter so you can easily hook it up. So I'm going to take this out of the pack. You can easily hook it up, plug this into the bottom and this end into the wall. It also comes with a little cup so you can easily put in your oils. So yeah, this is huge and I'm sure it holds a whole lot. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any essential oils to put in there to test. Um, all right, so I will read a little bit of what they have here. Now, this this aroma diffuser uses ultrasonic waves to instantly vaporize water and essential oil in the tank to produce a cool, drying, uh, fragrant mist. So, uh, when you pour in the water and the essential oil and you plug this into the wall, what it does is it heats up those um, the oil and the water and once it heats up, eventually it evaporates, it steams. So all of the steam comes out of here, and, uh, the water and the essential oil that you use. And what you get is a great spray of aroma. Um, I would probably use lavender oil just to try it out because I know that lavender oil has calming effects and um, yeah, it's very calming. It is a... Um, Something that a lot of people use in order to relax or uh, de-stress. But you can use any essential oil you want in this. And um, yeah, I'm going to be using this in the coming days. Uh, as soon as I get my oil. <laughs> but this is the item right here. Sent from a mirror. And I am very excited. This came in very quickly. Like They, they requested that I make this video. And it came like, and I, I put in the um, the response that I'd like to do it and show it with you guys. And it came in like a few days. So I'm very excited about that. Fast shipping, excellent communication, um, and you get a great product. It was wrapped up very well in this box. And I'm very excited. Very excited to use it because it displays different uh, colors. So it has seven colors. So when you press light, it switches between the different colors. So you can have different colors, turn off the lights, have your aromatherapy coming through, you know, going on. You can have this in the bathroom while you're taking a shower. Don't put it in the shower, but you can have it in the bathroom and you just, when you want to take a bath and just relax, you can have the lights off, have this on and it lights up in the dark. So thank you Amir for sending this to me. I'm so excited and appreciative. And yes guys, get you one of these. I'll let you know down below exactly how you can get yours on your own. Guys, I told you I'm not much of a morning person, but
but um, you know, ginger, ginger, not even just not even turkey, but ginger, um, continued barking and moving around, which made it really hard for me to just stay in bed. So then I was like, okay, let me just take y'all out for a walk. So I took them out for a walk, and um, and so now, like while while on the walk, I was thinking, you know what, it would be really great to get everything done that I need to get done here. I did my laundry last night. Woo! Um, so now I just need to get some groceries and just some little necessities like right here. My soap <laughs> is finishing out. And you know what? I have bought like two of those soaps when I first moved in and that's the second soap and it's just now like emptying. So I'm so happy about that. Um, I don't have to go out every five seconds to get new things. Um, that and also my bath soap is now finishing up. So there's just some necessities that need to get done. Um, that Those two bottles lasted for four months. That's great. That's amazing. So now here I have my coffee pot. I'm trying to get my mind straight. <laughs> I should have been at the house at five so I can get on the pantry line early but it's hard to wake up early these days especially with the cold air it's, it's hard but i'm gonna try to make it over there because um i know that they have some things that i would like to stock up um, i'm supposed to go over to my parents house this weekend but before i go there i want to make sure that i've got everything that i need here so that i'm not like crying for hunger throughout the week um i do need food i do need a few necessities so let me get that done before I go over there. Um, yeah. Other than that, that's pretty much all I'm really thinking about. Um, and I'm also thinking about how I need to put some pants on. <laughs> I have these shorts on. <sighs> One step at a time, guys. Coffee and then change to pants. <laughs> Alright, guys. So, I don't know. I don't think I'll bring you guys to the pantry. But when I get back... I'll show you something that I'm going to do differently um, with, you know, something I'm going to do differently because, um, yeah, I've been, I've been tugged and pulled mentally to make this change. And you know what? Why not? Why not just start today? So I'm going to show you soon um, and just focus on getting my day started right now. <laughs> so I'll see you guys soon. All right. So I'm over here sipping my coffee and eating my apple pie and I'm reading my friend's new book. It's a devotional. So today I'm at the chapter called 24 Hours Almost Gone and she talks about, not with, without giving away everything, she talks about how she was lamenting about not being able to just be able to live a free life financially. like. She had to pay her bills, pay this ticket that she owed, and she wants to be in a place where she can pay her bills and also have things left over. And then she started to compare herself with her friends, her younger friends, wondering how they have such a good life and she doesn't. And just thinking about her situation and even like crying over it, she finally made the decision to just do better do better like and i like a scripture that she included here um and it really like it convicted me this morning like y'all already saw how i look this morning like uh. <laughs> well she included proverbs 21 and 5. <coughs> excuse me <laughs> she included proverbs 21 and 5 the plans of the diligent lead surely to abundance and advantage but everyone who acts in haste come surely to poverty. I was like, oh snap, like, here I am just thinking that I should just stay in bed all day and like, oh, I can take care of what I need to do later. And that is actually helping to be in a, in a, a poor state. Like, if I have the time now, why not take advantage of it? The only difference between those that have and those that don't are the ways that they use their 24 hours. So. It all depends on how you use your 24 hours. 
Of course, there are some that have more resources than others, but if we all have the same 24 hours, we can all do something to be better. So today, I am encouraged to get up and to do better. So I'm gonna get up, I'm gonna bring my list of things that I need, which I have all here, all here. <laughs> Um, what is what I need here? Like dish soap, paper towels, olive oil, bleach, cleaning solutions, stuff like that. I'm going to bring this and I'm going to first hit up my favorite food pantry, see what fresh foods they have there, and then um, continue on my journey. I have to get some metro, uh, some bus fare because I think my metro card is all dried up. I didn't check how much was left on there like I thought I should have yesterday. But um, yeah, I, I was dreading that, you know? And I, th I think, I, I hear about dread a lot um, from Joyce Meyer. I like to listen to her in the morning. She talks about dread, it's like close to fear. Like, why do you dread? Just trust God, get up and trust God. And whatever you have to get done, do it joyfully. Even if you don't feel happy doing it, just find a way to be happy and do it. Be grateful, you know? So I'm gonna try to do that. It's a lot easier to say all this now because I have my coffee. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm just gonna continue. I'm gonna finish this coffee. I already washed my face and all that. Um, so I'm gonna finish my coffee, put my pants on, <laughs> put my shoes on, get my Metro card fare, and be out. <laughs> Cause I got stuff to do and Ain't nobody it's all up to me that's the thing like living here by myself me and my dogs it's all up to me <clears throat> it's up to me to pay the bills on time which thank god they have been paid on time it's up to me to fill this place with food it's up to me to keep this place clean because if i don't do it first of all this place is going to be a hot mess there will be no food in here and I would have bill collectors calling my phone. By the grace of God, I have no bill collectors calling my phone. I don't have mail coming in telling me turn off notice and all of this because I make sure to budget my, my finances. Now, this summer, I have to say, this summer got me in some trouble with my credit card because I went, like, I, I spent a whole lot on my credit card. Look, look. I spent a whole lot on my credit card this 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 month and normally I only do like under 10% um, I use only 10% of whatever I have on the credit card but I probably made like almost 50% um, uh, in bills but thank God I paid that off before it's due date which was yesterday so I'm good with that because I don't want it to touch my credit score and all of that stuff so um, yeah, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm very grateful to be able to pay my bills. And I, I do, I am like my friend here where I want to, I want to aim higher. I don't want to just be, you know, working just to pay my bills. I want to work to pay my bills, of course, but to also have something left over so I could save for a vacation or save for something else. You know, right now I want to put a, a couch in my living room. I want to decorate this place. I want to do different things. Like, I want to be able to do these things and not think fearful thoughts. You know, oh my gosh, can you afford it? You can't afford it. You know, I want to say goodbye to those thoughts. Um, and with that comes diligence and getting up and not being lazy. So I'm going to try my best not to be lazy today. Pull up my big girl drawers and get ish done. You feel me? <laughs> I don't say that, but. I don't know why that came to mind. <laughs> anyway, guys, yes, I'm gonna get things done. Stop talking about it. Just be about it. And <laughs> I'll see you guys soon. All right. Hey guys. So the time is 1:13, and I'm back. Finally back from the food pantry. I got all healthy foods. So I'm gonna show you right now. Hold on. Oof. All right. So <sighs> yes. I found I got all healthy foods I stayed away from the canned goods the only canned good that I got was the black beans because I love making my black bean burgers so I need the, the black beans from there but um I got pasta 
raisins. This uh, soft pretzel stick from Trader Joe's. I'm about to eat some of that now. Wait a minute, I had that. That's not hungry. More pasta, whole wheat pasta. Oh yes, I know what I'm eating. Um, so I got potatoes, a bag of potatoes, a bag of carrots. Oh yes, oh okay. I got an Italian style wrap. I'm about to eat that. Yeah. Chips, uh, seasoned salt, black beans. I got some tea, a tea drink, pomegranate passion fruit tea, white tea. Coconut water, grape juice. I don't drink my grape juice. I just leave it for the guests. <laughs> you know, when you, know, you have people over and they ask for something to drink. I got grape juice. <laughs> I got beets. Not sure what I'm gonna do with beets, but I'm gonna find something to do with it. I got, oh wait, these, are these the beets? Oh, and red onions, bag of red onions. Lettuce which is going bad, but I'm going to peel the surface leaves and try to get the best of it from the inside. I got these empanada uh, pastries, so I'm going to have to, you know, find a way to make an empanada. Maybe with my beans, uh, you know, some sauteed onions, beans, peppers, you know, something like that. And yeah, another empanada roll thingy and more tea. So yes, today was very successful. I only picked up um, the healthy options. Um, they wanted to give me more cans, canned fruit, and I just politely declined because I know that canned goods are pretty much a no-no. But earlier guys, I told you that I was gonna make a change and the change is that I wanna eat healthier. I was um, shown the video, the movie, uh, What the Health. Guys, as soon as you watch that, you just really can't go back to normal. Like, you cannot, you cannot do things as normal. <laughs> so, um, I, I saw What the Health, and I saw a lot of, like, you know, what meat does to you, um, and stuff like that. I actually didn't have um, meat at all this week, except for some codfish when I had some ackee this week which is a Jamaican meal. Um, and then I'm going to have this, because I, I got to, I just got to. That will be like the only meat intake that I have gotten this whole entire week. Other than that, I have not in, you know, taken in any meat. Um, I'm hearing so many you know, bad stories about meat and how it's linked to a lot of diseases that are going on, and we're not meant to really eat meat like that. So I'm trying to be more plant-based um, more fruit, you know, incorporate more plants, more fruits, um, replace meats with beans and other sources of protein, find different creative ways to make meals instead of just always putting some meat on the side. Um, because I was raised like that, you know, rice and you got your meat and then you got your veggies. But there are other ways that you can make meals that are delicious. Like the other day, um, I didn't have much of anything, but I was just trying to find something. And I ended up making some... Um, potatoes some oven baked potatoes and oven baked carrots and I put that together and it was so good so tasty and I didn't feel any type of, I felt full afterwards so it was very satisfying but yeah and you know with that with that decision I have to now go through my refrigerator <laughs> and take out a lot of the things that I have in here like guys you, you remember um, one pantry run that I went on I got like some cooked ham. I've not used it and I'm going to end up throwing it away. Um, what else has to go? Um, cheese is something that I'll keep for now, but you know, eventually I might find an alternative. Um, but as far as the meats, they gotta go. These canned, canned um, goods, like the salmon, the veggies, those gotta go because I want to eat more fresh, more fresh foods. Even the canned salmon, 
that has to go as well. Um, so pretty much after I eliminate a lot of these things, this entire cupboard is going to be like pretty much empty. <laughs> so um, yeah, it's pretty much going to be empty. But that only means that I have a fresh start to load up the cabinets with more healthy options. So yeah guys, I'm trying to be more healthy, trying to make a change. It's never too late to make that change. Um, like I was watching, um, what's her name? Um, I was watching one YouTuber who did like a lookbook and she was talking about, you know, her new body. And she said, she also said like, it's not too late to make a change. If you want to make a change, you can. Like, what's stopping you? Nothing can. So once you make up your mind, you can do anything. And plus, you know, I'm kind of sort of, you know. All right, guys. So I'm dating someone who is a vegan. And he's really, really influenced me so much in, you know, my my eating and, and just thinking differently about, um, you know, the foods that I eat that are not healthy. Um, and yeah, so that's why I've been, you know, a little bit more convinced to eat more healthier. Um, because I see I'm, I'm now exposed to someone who's eating healthy whereas everyone that I know is not really eating that healthy they're not checking the carbs checking the calories and all that stuff but it's like once you get exposed to someone who's actually doing that it changes you like it changes your mind it makes you see like wow okay if you have self-discipline I can have that too and I'm hearing that to eat healthy is not expensive at all, but we just think that way because that's how we've been conditioned to think that in order to eat healthy, you have to spend more money, which I mean, it is it is true in some cases, but you don't exactly have to spend a whole lot of money in order to eat, you know? So um, yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to change my mind as far as that's concerned and keeping fit. You guys saw me work out in the last video. I'm trying to stay, you know, mindful of my health and just doing right. Um, I'd rather fill up on healthy foods and feel good at the end of the day than fill up with bad foods and feel horrible about what I ate and really guilty about what it's doing to my body. So, I'm trying to make a change. I'm not perfect. <laughs> I, I never will be perfect, but hey, you know, it's not too late. So guys, that is what I'm doing. I'm going to pack up the cupboards with my new foods. Um, and I'm going to take out the old stuff, shower, and probably get some more errands done for the day. Yeah. <laughs>